The story begins with a small child playing with a bike. There's a leaf stuck in the bike's wheel. When the leaf flies off, it heads towards a very creepy house. An old man named Neba Cracker comes out and scolds the child to leave his property. Oh, get off my life! He's very harsh. As far as the eye can see, there's a boy watching the house. His name is DJ. He records everything Neba Cracker does. DJ shouts to his mom, annoyed with the old man. Despite DJ's repeated complaints about Neba Cracker taking people's belongings, his mom disregards his words. Chowder comes to distract him. He asks about Halloween, but DJ doesn't plan to trick or treat this year, feeling too grown up for it. While Chowder plays basketball, the ball hits him and flies into the scary house. Are you okay? My nose is in my brain. Let me see. Chowder asks DJ to get it. As he approaches, Neba Cracker comes out and scolds them both. He chases DJ and grabs him. Due to his old age, Neba Cracker suddenly faints. That day he is taken to the hospital. DJ receives a babysitter at his home. Her appearance suddenly changes, and she calls herself C. She imposes strict rules, making DJ very uncomfortable. At night, DJ hears a strange phone call. He redials the number and realizes it's from Neba Cracker's house. As he focuses, he's startled by Z and Bones entering his room, which isn't funny at all. <laughs> Once again, Z explains the annoying rules. No phone calls at night. DJ argues as he picked up a call from Neba Cracker's house, although Neba Cracker had died that day. Neither adult cares and ignore DJ's words. Due to their argument, Bones is kicked out by Z. He's angry and drinks alcohol. In his anger, he throws a bottle at Neba Cracker's house. Unexpectedly, the house hypnotizes Bones, and he finds his lost kite. Bones is then devoured. To satisfy their curiosity, DJ and Chowder return to Neba Cracker's house. Chowder thinks DJ is lying about the haunted house. He decides to go there and practice what Neba Cracker usually does. Get off my lawn! Suddenly, strange sounds emerge, lights flicker, and the house turns into a monster. This monster house attacks Chowder, wanting to eat him. Luckily, they both manage to escape. They spend the night observing Neba Cracker's house. Z is puzzled by their behavior, not expecting the kids to engage in spying to the extent of avoiding going to the toilet. Z asks about Bones to DJ, who hasn't returned since last night. They both say Bones was eaten by the monster house because they saw alcohol bottles in Neba Cracker's yard. As they observe again, they see Jenny entering Neba Cracker's yard. She plans to sell chocolates there out of panic. They both rush to shoo Jenny away. Jenny is startled and is made to float high. Luckily, Z intervenes. The monster house doesn't want parents to know its identity. Z remains annoyed by the kids' talk about the monster house. She leaves to search for bones. They go to DJ's room. Here, Jenny is still scared of what happened, and a dog has also been eaten by the monster house. To find out about this house, the three of them decide to meet someone, Reginald Skolinski, a gaming expert. DJ asks about the monster house. Skolinski answers. He heard stories about someone's soul being connected to human-made structures, like stones or wood, making them into monsters. Monster house. DJ asks how to kill it. Skolinski answers by destroying the source of life there, the heart. DJ is confused but the house doesn't have a heart. Skolinski responds, maybe there's some truth to that, and Skolinski leaves to deliver pizza to customers. Strategy planning begins. First, they'll make a doll filled with flu medicine. DJ wants Chowder to steal it from his dad's shop. If the house consumes the flu medicine, it'll fall asleep. From there, they can enter and search for the house's heart. In the evening, they prepare for the attack. Dolls are launched, but the electric cable is crushed by a police car.
This is thwarted by two patrolling police officers. They mistake the kids for thieves. They're arrested because one of the officers finds flu medicine there, a lot of it. When the two officers approach the house, the house's branches grab the police officer's gun and they're swallowed by the monster house. Next, the police car also gets involved in this phenomenon, knowing naughty kids are inside. The car is swallowed too. They don't have time to escape through the monster house's mouth. Suddenly, they're swallowed again, into a deeper room. Here are many toys. Here they see someone covered in cement. She's Constance, Neba Cracker's wife. They all become more suspicious. If Neba Cracker killed his wife, why does he worship it? This is very strange. DJ stumbles and hits the corpse. All the cement breaks, and only Bones and Constance remain. They're caught one by one, from Chowder to Jenny. DJ tries to help them. He also becomes the next target. Luckily, Jenny holds the monster house's uvula. The house feels itchy, and all three are spat out. Very disgusting. The three of them fight after surviving. Chowder feels he needs to go home and not participate in this mission anymore. He's risking his life for DJ. DJ is angry because the house is still a threat. Do you want to hear my big idea? I'm going home to make a pretzel sandwich! Suddenly, DJ is hit by an ambulance, and it turns out Neba Cracker emerges from it. DJ thinks it's a ghost, but it's not. Neba Cracker is still alive and not dead. Initially, Neba Cracker is very angry because these naughty kids entered his house again. DJ says if Neba Cracker didn't kill Constance, but he was accused of being a murderer. The story continues to the past, where Neba Cracker meets Constance. Constance was like a clown in a circus. With her large body, she was always laughed at and pelted with objects. Neba Cracker then frees Constance, and they start a life together. They buy a piece of land to build a house. Here, there are still naughty kids. They throw eggs at Constance. Neba Cracker tries to calm Constance, saying he'll protect her, and no one can hurt her. However, the kids keep throwing things at Constance. Angry, she accidentally falls and pulls the lever of a cement mixer. Neba Cracker continues building the house until it's finished. From here, it's revealed that the monster house lives because of Constance's soul. Every year, Neba Cracker tries to drive away naughty kids. He does this because he's afraid the kids will be eaten by this monster. DJ says to Neba Cracker that he realizes Neba Cracker has been helping the kids all along. DJ wants Neba Cracker to release Constance so that all the burdens he has can end. The monster house, hearing this, gets angry at DJ's words. The house rises and walks. Fortunately, Neba Cracker isn't the main target. The main target of the monster house is DJ and his friends. At the same time, Neba Cracker stops the monster house. Here, Neba Cracker tries to calm Constance. Neba Cracker suddenly pulls out dynamite from his pocket and tries to ignite it. But it fails. Chowder arrives with his excavator. Neba Cracker, who fell, tries to give the dynamite to DJ. DJ accepts this mission and does his best. He tells Jenny that the chimney is the entry point for the dynamite. From here, they can throw the dynamite. They both run towards the tower crane, while Chowder still holds the monster house. Chowder is at the edge of the land. They both fall into the foundation area. The monster house suddenly collapses because it's very fragile. Chowder is ecstatic because he succeeded in defeating it. Suddenly, the monster house comes back to life. It returns in an even stranger form, very insane, and swallows the excavator. DJ arrives with the tower crane rope. He throws the dynamite into the chimney. The monster house explodes and is destroyed. Initially, DJ sees Neba Cracker just pondering and looking down. DJ feels very sorry seeing Neba Cracker sad. It turns out, he's very happy that this could happen. He has been waiting for 45 years to be free from the monster house's grasp. Neba Cracker's responsibility is over. Neba Cracker thanks DJ. They are free. After the chaos, all the kids line up at Neba Cracker's house. They're given toy gifts by DJ and his friends. Happy Halloween. 
DJ and Chowder finally enjoy this atmosphere again. And that's the movie recap of Monster House. Do you have any scary stories like haunted houses or anything like this? If so, tell your story in the comments section. Hopefully, every Halloween will find meaning and not encounter scary incidents like in this movie. To support this channel to keep growing, don't forget to like, comment, and press the subscribe button below. See you again in the next video.